Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the podcast. For today's episode, we have Greg Sipes. Welcome in. And Dog. How you doing? And Mike, as usual, of course. Nice to meet you. Oh, Mike, Mike will just sit all the way over there. Mikey in the house. Dog, bless you all. Thanks for having us. Of course. How are you doing today? I'm grateful. I've got my guru here, the highest form of life on the planet. And that one is a dog? This is God. That one is God? He's, he's my savior. Should I be scared that one will bite or he was a nice guy? He's a nice guy. Yeah, Venice Beach style. Nice, dude. So this one, not biting guy. Nothing to be afraid of because I'm very scared of a dog. Sometimes he bites, but he's cool with you. He, li he likes you. Okay, well, just in uh, case somebody might not know you, just maybe introduce yourself for them. Quick introduction. Uh, I'm Greg Sipes. I'm the voice of Beast Boy. Yo! Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pia uh, All kinds of cartoons. But mostly I'm a servant of dog. That doesn't sound like Michelangelo at all. Puyagasha! Kyle Bunga, dude. Uh, so you said you're a servant of God? Dog. Oh, dog, like that one right there. Yes. You serve him instead of God? For me, he is my God. And that one, why uh, do you believe this one? I don't have to believe in God. He's in my lap right now. No, I'm saying, but how did you start believing that that one is God? Because um, he is God in pure presence. Just the presence of him? Mm-hmm. All right. What are some of the other characters you voice act? You know, you just said the Beast Boy from Teen Titans and a Michelangelo. Kevin Levin from Ben 10, uh, Chiro on Super Robot Monkey Team, Hover Force Go, uh, all kinds of characters. Mostly Beast Boy, though. So you're a professional voice actor. Can you do some impressions of these characters? Robert Freeman from the Boondocks, the Hulk, and maybe your dog. I'm contractually obligated not to do anything like that. Oh, really? Not allowed? No. Not even a piece of wood? No. <laughs> I could do a piece of wood. Okay, yo, try that one. Yo, I'm a piece of wood. I'll give you a splinter, yo. So the, when you sign to these people to do voice stuff, they don't allow you to do it with other people? No, not too much. Okay, uh, so it's an exclusive contract. I'm also um, contractually obligated not to rap. Oh, not to rap? Why not? This is part of my contract. Oh, they will just put it in there for fun? Yeah. How many people do you think there are in the world that only know, that know Donald Trump, but only as a billionaire and the guy who says you're fired and not as the president? A lot of people. A lot of those people? A lot of people don't know anything about anything. Are you a big fan of the great white hope, Donald Trump? I don't like any politician. No politicians? No politicians. So you don't vote? Never. Really? Not even in a primaries or a Senate or anything like that one? No, no, no voting period. I don't believe in this system. I think we need a whole new system. W w what system would you want to do? A system based on freedom, celebration, and respect. But how will we implement this one? Politicians should never be able to take money. You, can't, you should never be able to buy a politician. And there's a lot of simple things we can do to, to implement, like um, term limits and like, I mean, for me, any form of government is like a form of slavery, right? He gets it. So you are um, forgetting the term. There's a political term for that one. I forget this one. I forget the name of that one. Freedom. Freedom. Do you, what's your favorite Quiznos sub? I don't eat Quiznos subs. Did you know that the Baja chicken has chef-inspired sauces? No, but that's, um, I feel like Quiznos is not good for you, so I don't eat it. Oh, that one's not good for you? No, no, no. Why not? It's just, uh, you know, there's a lot of chemicals and, sh and stuff in, the, in that food. I read um the, the bread, the, the vegetables, the, the meat, it's all poisonous. You're a vegan? I'm, I'm mostly a vegan. I'm a flexitarian as well. 
are you are as a vegan are you allowed to eat other vegans <laughs> no no is the dog allowed to eat meat he's a killer he does eat meat yeah oh okay what about other dogs uh no he's a, he doesn't eat other dogs why not maybe that will be healthy for him just send him up train him a little bit to become a pit bull he can grow in size his mom was a rottweiler oh he, this one is part rottweiler yeah i thought maybe this one it was a chihuahua mix not a chihuahua he's a king chihuahua a oh, king chihuahua so that one is the head of chihuahuas mm -hmm. oh he's thirsty giovanni can you get him a bowl please He's got his assistant here. Oh, that's his assistant? He works for... My, he's, my dog's got an assistant, yes. That's why he goes by Master Guru. That's his name, Master Guru? Master Guru, and water's his favorite food. Oh, not a uh, cow or something like that one? Mm -mm. How long have you uh, had this uh, dog? Eternally. You've had him eternally? From body to body to body, we're, we're always together. Oh, thank you, Giovanni. Oh, the dog is excited. I told you water is his favorite food, thank you. Only spring water for Master Guru. From the mountain? That's too that one from the mountain? Yeah. There's clothing. Venice Beach original, Sticky Shaw. He makes all of our clothes. Oh, so because you live at uh, Venice Beach, right? I do, I do. I read that if you live at Venice Beach for too long, stuff starts to go wrong in your brain. <laughs> Is that one true or not? <laughs> Potentially. How long have you been living there? 25 years. 25 years, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, any... Uh, Side effects come from that one yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've met a lot of wild people. A lot of crazy people? Venice, Venice Beach is the true wild west. It's like the most diverse place on earth, in my opinion. But in a good way or bad way? Mostly good. Because the I... Diversity is good. The more different kinds of people there are, the better life is. So it's, it's pretty rad. But it's also crazy. There's a lot of stuff I wish I didn't see that I've seen. Because of that area? Yeah, yeah. Because I remember sometime last year, I was at Venice Beach, and a dog uh, attacked me, actually. Little white uh, dog. Uh, maybe Pomeranian dog, actually. Chihuahua dog. You need to roll with snacks, dude. If you have snacks, no dog will ever mess with you. They will uh, bite me for the snacks, or no, they will be happy? They'll love you for the snacks. Do you think people should be fired from their jobs if they're racist? Yes. Mike, you're fired. <laughs> Later, Mike. That's what you get for being racist. Oh, he's a big racist guy. You should hear what he says off camera. I don't even want to hear it, dude. Is it weird to watch movies or TV shows that you voice act in? Uh, does it make it harder to engross yourself into the world that you're watching? Yes, it does. And I can never actually watch all the stuff that I've made. I've made thousands of episodes of TV and, and movies, and I've not seen all of it. But it's, it's, it's pretty awesome to watch it when I do. I usually watch it on airplanes. I, ca I catch up when I'm flying. In the e like airplane mode, just brand turned off, or a literal airplane in the air? Airplane in the air, man. Do you smoke? Uh, I, I read that you smoked weed. <laughs> I used to smoke weed. I still do, but I used to, too. Oh, so you've been smoking weed for a while now? I used to smoke weed. I still do, but I used to, too. Because I read that one gives ass cancer. Is that one, uh, is that true? It gives you what? I read that it, that one gives ass cancer. <laughs> I think it's more of a medicine than anything else. Oh, so you think it will be helpful for people? I think it could potentially be very helpful for different problems. You might have um, sicknesses, yes. 
Have you ever given any of that one to the dog? Ever got him high with uh, marijuana? No, never. No, no. Never give ganja to a dog. Why not? Because they're naturally high. They don't need it. They don't need the medicine. Although CBD could be helpful. You've given him a CBD? He's had, he's had CBD treats before, yeah. Dog treats. Do you think you have a better memory than the, uh, the dog here? Because every time he is looking at me, it seems he's remembering to try and bite me. <laughs> no, no. His memory is better than mine, but we're nihilists. Nihilists? <laughs> <laughs> no, nihilists. We're nihilists. Oh, right now. Right now, we're nihilists. How many FIFA coins do you think that dog would be worth? He's priceless, dude. Oh, priceless? Mm -hmm. How many FIFA coins do you think... Um, that water would be worth, for example. I don't even know what a FIFA coin is. Um, I, I'm uh, hard to explain. There's not exactly explanation for that one. It's a, f a fake currency, typically. How many FIFA coins is this dude worth? Um, I would say that if he would be listed for FIFA coins, I would say maybe one or two hundred. That will be from maybe 10 minutes of game time. Where do you get FIFA, where do you get FIFA coins? Uh, play, you can buy those ones, I believe, or you can buy, uh, buy players to play the game with, and okay. then you will earn them. Okay. But you can sell them for real money on eBay. I used to have a couple bots running on that one who was making some money, but then they made it illegal. Actually, I had a question similar to that one. How do you think we should deal with shoplifters? I'm thinking euthanasia. No, I think they need to be um, put in uh, jail and fined for sure. I think you should never be able to hurt somebody or steal from somebody ever, but definitely not kill somebody. I don't believe in violence. You don't believe uh, in the death penalty? No. What if it's a uh, mass murder? No. No, no, I don't think anybody has the right to kill each other, ever. No, I know I'm saying, but what if that person has already killed the others? Lock them up. Lock them up? Yeah, that's it. As a vegan, would you be allowed to eat McDonald's new ant-based burger made 100% of ants? <laughs> no, I would, oh. never, I would never eat that anyway. Why not? Because that one is getting really high reviews. No, 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 never eat bugs, no matter what Bill Gates says. Oh, there, Mike's back. It's okay, t t but sit over there, just as long as on, on, on media, you're not saying any racial slurs, it's okay, but you need to refrain from that one. Cannot have them uh, removing monetization, Mike. That will come out of your paycheck, and that paycheck is nothing. Have you ever tried bending a spoon? Bending a spoon? <laughs> yeah, bending a spoon. I think so. Let me try this one. That's pretty good. Just like that one? That's pretty good. But there's a way to bend it with your mind. Mike, can you bend it? Mike, it's bending with your mind. Can you no, I do it. When I get the lottery ticket, I lose every time. I lost the lottery this week. It happens, Mike. It happens. Mike? Mike, here you go. Do you want to bend this one with your let mind? Let me try the other one. And then when we're done bending the spoons, we will get into a special... Put fun, you! Oh, shit, Mike. I think it's bending, dude. I'm starting to feel nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's get to your challenge. Special challenge, actually. Let me get the spoon back in place. Um, so, uh, I will give you $5, actually, for each tablespoon of salt you can inhale. And then the goal is we're trying to get a total of five tablespoons. Because once we each uh, eat five tablespoons of salt, we will die. <laughs> you go first. Do you know where to find the uh, paddy machine? I don't know what that is. Paddy machine? No. You know where? I don't know what a buddy is. Mm -mm. Oh, I ain't got my buddy. Mm -mm. 
Oh, that was really tasty salt. Let me give you your spoon now. I'm allergic to salt. I can't do it, Matan. Oh, shit. Sorry about that one. Because if you drink, because this one is a big tablespoon, if this one, even two tablespoons from this one salt, death. Yeah, yeah, I'm not ready to die yet. We'll override the system. Do you believe in uh, afterlife? I do. I think when, when you move on, uh, the veil is very thin, so you either get to hang out or you get to turn into another body and come back pretty quick. So you believe in reincarnation? Yes. Are you a religious guy? I believe in religion, yes. The true, the true meaning of the word religion means all unified and webbed together, one. Does the dog uh, religious? Yes. That he, dog really wants to bite me. He's a scaring me dog. He, he is my religion. I'm a, I believe in um, dog, dog-ism. Dog, dog is God. Roof. Oh. Oh, does he speak on command? If he had a treat, maybe. He will, cause he wants to bite me big time. <laughs> he really know? wants to get at me. I don't think so. I think he likes you. Oh, see. <gasps> oh wow, good job, Master Guru. That yeah, is threatening me. He's showing me his teeth. Want some more water, Master Guru? Oh my gosh. Water is his favorite food. Good job. Just one lick. That dog wants to do a big time bite. Let me remove the phone from the table. Um, do you think one day science will ever advance enough to the point where we're able to fast travel? Yes. How do you think that one will happen? There's going to be flying cars really soon. That's going to be much faster than regular driving. No, fast travel just from teleportation maybe. You will say that you want to be over back in Venice Beach where your house is and you will just go over there instant. Yeah, I think it's all gonna, everything is possible. If you can think of it, you can do it. Oh shit, oh shit. That dog wants to bite me big time. <laughs> I don't think so, I think he likes you. I'm scared for this guy because that guy is sleeping. So if that dog bites his face, he will go right back to sleep, but for a longer period. Man, he's, he's digging the vibe. He's cool. He's, not he's just chilling right now. We found him on Venice Beach. He's chilling. Oh, he's chilling. shit. I think we need a little dance break. A little dance break? <laughs> oh, shit. That Go after you, my friend. No, that dog wants to get me. It's important to dance every day. And get sun like this guy. That dog, how many times has he beat somebody in the last week? <laughs> <laughs> nobody. He not bite nobody? Not this week. So why does he want to get me so bad? I think he just likes you, Matan. Oh, man, hoping so because he was a scary dog. Um, would you rather have one dollar or double it and give it to a dollar? Um, I, th I think we should definitely double it and give it to a dollar. Oh, okay. Um, I know an Italian magician. He can make any two cars crash into each other and then he will make an insurance check magically pop into your pocket. Do you want me to connect you with him? Wait, say that again? I know this Italian magician guy. He can make any two cars crash into each other. And then in the next six months, you will have an insurance check. It will pop right into your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, I'm good. You, you don't uh, like racist people? Me, no, I don't. So do you have any Italian friends? I would imagine probably not. I have a lot of friends of every kind of person. Because Italian are really racist. <laughs> Not that I, my best friend Ciro Nieli is Italian. He's not racist at all. Oh, he is big time. He is just hiding that one from you. <laughs> Italian is born with racism. That's why. <laughs> well, that's, that's just stupidity. No, because some people born with different things. For example, some people born with different color skin, which is fine. And then some, some races on average can be born with a different intelligence. Uh, some countries even have different intelligence rankings, all types of different subs. And it, Italy, 
just so they're born racist. They take a racist test and it's coming out a hundred percent. I don't think so, but they definitely do make great food. Oh, good food. I don't think Italians are racist, but they make amazing, amazing food. Right, Mike? Mike agrees. That was a telepathic yes. Um, my old lawyer is suing me and my current lawyer is planning on suing me after this case is closed. What should I do? Um, you should definitely don't answer your phone. Don't answer your phone when they're calling. I heard about that one though. Make them work for it. Make them work for the lawsuit? Or, or leave the country. Because the old lawyer, he is suing me because I sued him and then the new lawyer is suing me because I'm threatening to sue him after this case is closed. So he wants to sue me back and it's just this really nasty cycle now where I'm hiring a lawyer to sue a lawyer who's suing me and then that lawyer is gonna sue oh me because I threatened to sue him and that dog wants to bite this guy now. That dog wants to get him really badly. I don't think so. He's just chilling, dude. Do you think the government will catch you if you try to send a, a pistol through USPS? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. Have you ever tried to do that one before? No, no, I have not. Oh, why not? <laughs> I think it's important to be able to have a gun, oh, but okay. I would, I would never uh, send it to the mail. So you own a gun currently? Mm-hmm. Do you have to have a license for that one in the liberal California, or how does it, how does it work over here? Yes, you, uh, you have to have a license. I got guns and I got licenses for my guns. Do you have what type of guns? Just pistol or do you have I brought my gun? pistol today, but like... A pistol today? I'm joking. I didn't bring it with me. Why not? I would. I, I got to get a special license to carry it, which I'm going to have. Oh, you don't have a carrying license. That's no. why? You got to keep it at home locked up. What type of license will you need to shoot the people just outside of your house? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a, there's no license. No, uh, not no. for breaking in, just if they get a little bit too close, maybe. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. Why not? Because first off, violence is never the answer. Well, violence, it's, it's, you don't think it's ever the answer? Because I believe it's the answer a good amount of the time, just depending on case-to-case -case basis. Unless you're protecting yourself, it's not the answer. So then why will you own uh, the guns that you own? Just in case I need to protect myself, and then violence is the answer. Oh, just for protection? Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever tried to break in your house? Luckily, no. Really? On Venice? Never. Oh, wow. Do you have... Do you live straight, uh, cl just in the Venice vicinity, or you live right on the beach? Right on the boardwalk. On the boardwalk? Mm -hmm. There's homeless outside your house? Everything. Everything you could ever imagine. Oh, my God. Mostly it's beautiful people and... Uh, seagulls and but there's there's a there's a good amount of homeless people as well. What do you think will be a solution for homeless euthanasia? No, no, you got to give them houses and food and uh, get them off the streets. But how will we give them um, houses and food if they are not uh, helping the infrastructure to to build those ones? Um, there's enough money for for the streets to be paved with gold if America wasn't funding every war around the world and wasting our money. Some people believe that time is money. Does that mean that I'm wasting your money right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's worth it. I'm enjoying myself. So it's valuable. It's valuable right now, so yeah. You're having a happy time right now? Yeah, it's good. Do you think uh, that Twitter should have remained heavily regulated? Or did Elon Musk make the right choice by allowing people to teach you how to cook crack in the microwave <laughs> and make a homemade silencer? <laughs> I think freedom of speech is critical. Definitely. Um, I think you should be able to do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting somebody. Do you think, um, so drugs in your opinion should be legalized? Again, uh, if you're not hurting somebody, you should be able to do whatever you want. Freedom of choice, freedom of speech, freedom to do what you want as long as you're not hurting somebody else. So you don't believe that you know, people should be mandated vegans? No, they should be mandated vegans for sure, but... Why? I'm joking. No, you should be able to eat oh, okay. whatever you want. 
I'm a I'm mostly a vegan, but when I'm in nature, I'm a flexitarian. I eat everything. Oh, so you will eat animals? Just I have. Uh, when was the last uh, animal you ate? Mm, I don't like eating animals, but I have eaten animals before, and probably like a couple months ago, I tried to ha I had some animal up up in nature, and it, it was okay. Why do you care so much about animals, regardless of the fact that they're evil? <laughs> <laughs> they're evil? Tell me how they're evil. Because they're always trying to get... Maybe you can say that I'm evil, but they always want to get me. I'm getting in lots of problems with animals. They're always speaking on me. That's why I'm so cautious right now. He's looking at me right now. Wants to get me big time. I think I think animals are like mirrors, so it's like you're gonna get back what you give. No, I will give a, the dog. I will go up to a dog on the street. I will say, "Here's a water, here's a nice food," and then I will get back a shit on my lawn, and they will bite me in my sleep. You gotta get better snacks, dude. Oh, just the problem with the snacks? Yeah. I was giving them a chocolate cakes. No, no chocolate for dogs ever, dude. Oh, no, why not? That one tasting really good. They're allergic to it. They might want it, but you can't give it to them. So they will want to eat it, but it will not be uh, good for them? Yeah, it'll make them sick. So then, but that would be a good solution if they're trying to get to my house, right? If they're trying to break in my house, maybe put, instead of landmine, just put chocolate cake. Because they will eat it, it's like they're consuming the bomb themselves. I wouldn't suggest that. But Wh why not? I think you just got to get better snacks, dude. Do you think that Magic Johnson's positive mindset made him a better basketball player? Yes. How so? Because <laughs> um, the mind is a powerful thing. And you can create... Ha happiness creates more happiness. Positiv positivity creates more positivity. Gives you an edge. It gives you... A higher vibrational frequency and you can accomplish good things including being an amazing basketball player that one is true i hope that one day truly i can be as positive as magic johnson that would be cool that would be interesting for sure um what would you do if the grass stopped growing forever just grass mm, that's a deep question um I think I, I could I could be okay if grass stopped growing forever. I'm not a big wheat wheat grass fan anyway. I don't like to drink wheat grass. So yeah, grass can stop growing. I'd be okay. Oh, he just spit on you, Mike. <laughs> that dog just spit on Mike. <laughs> no, you know what it was? He loves grass. So he's like, really? He likes to eat grass. So he would be pissed that grass stopped growing. So, so he understands. I take that back, He master. understands English. He does. I take that back, Master Guru. We, want, we, we would be devastated if grass stopped growing. Does he eat grass? Yes, he does. Um, how do you make sure that the grass he's eating is not dirty grass? Oh, he's spitting on Mike again. <laughs> this guy is spitting on Mike because Mike spit on him earlier. He's getting you back, Mike. <laughs> I'm telling you, this dog wants to bite me and he's spitting on you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's clean and what's dirty. That is it. What do you think the IQ will be for that dog if he takes a test? I think he's way smarter than all of us combined. He's smarter than uh, you? Way smarter than me. In uh, what regard will you say he's more intelligent uh, human being? In every way, like math, science, math? geography. Yeah. Beta, beta, algorithms, everything. Would you adopt a dog if it was blind, had no legs, no arms, and overall just looked like a fish? <laughs> I would. I would carry that dog everywhere. But he also needs water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, I would do that too. Just carry him in a bowl of water? Mm -hmm. you, I, will, I can get you one of these guys. They're not so hard to find right now. I'm good. I only have enough uh, time for my, my guru. That one is a dog? My guru. He goes by uh, Master Guru. You can refer to him as Master Guru. 
See, he's kissing me. He speaks with his kisses. No, see, he, he likes, likes he likes you, but he's spitting on Mike. No, he likes that I'm explaining to you how he likes to be um, yeah. talked to. Yeah, he's poofed on you. Look at that. He's threatening me with his teeth. <laughs> That's the second time today. You want some more water, Master Guru? He doesn't want water. He wants to spit on Mike. Look, Mike's trying to do stare down with the dog. I'd be careful, Mike. Now, Mike, be careful because no defense allowed. Do you think that Tesla cars should be allowed to drive you places without your permission? No, no, I don't like Tesla cars for, for that very reason. Oh, really? Why yeah, not? Yeah, because they can lock you up and drive you straight to the police station. And that would suck. This, I don't think that's something they're able to do yet. They can. They'll drive you to the police station? Sure, sure. They can lock you in the car and take you wherever they, wherever they want to bring you. And that's not cool. Why not? What if it's something, uh, what if they're doing that to a guy committing illegals? I still think there shouldn't be, uh, there should be autonomy in everything. Let me ask you a question. You should have to drive wherever you want. Um, can you do your best Charleston White impression? <laughs> the, 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 the what? Best Charleston White impression. <laughs> what is that? Let me show you a video of him. He was a killer, nigga. So my nigga kill him while y'all mad. Nigga, he killed. Nigga, we watched him go hand out money, according to the FBI. To put on FBG, duck head. Y'all still go ride with him? I hate to hear that song when he say that they too could die. Y'all still ain't gonna apologize to Miss Tuka, my nigga. They the ones who's making him famous and blowing him up like this. Because they can't... Oh, that one, not, this is not Charleston White. Just let me skip back to Charleston. Nah, I can't do that impression. Oh, why not? Because I'm, I'm contractually obligated not to. Or Are you allowed to be in, a, in TV shows or movies with your real face, not animated? Because... Most of the things you are known for is the green one. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of movies like Fast and Furious, and I've been in shows like The Middle and Anger Management and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I could do that. Who's the ma most famous uh, person you ever did uh, acting with? It could be animated or uh, real. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen? Charlie Sheen's great. Um, Which Fast and Furious? Fast and Furious, the fourth one. Uh, that one was with The Rock? No, it was with... Uh, no, The Rock was not in that oh, one. Oh, the other bald one. The smaller one? <laughs> yeah, the smaller bald one. Uh, uh, Vin Diesel? Yeah, Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. Did you meet uh, Vin Diesel? Yeah, I got to work with both of them. What did he say to you? He was very cool. He was very nice. Oh, he's a nice guy? Yeah, nice guy. He was, he was cool to me. Because I heard that that guy... He's really angry that he's not having hair. Not on set. He kept his cool on set. Let me move on to the next. Well, actually, I was going to ask you about the, the main guy you played, the one you're most well known for, is uh, the green one from the Teen Titans, Beast Boy. Yep. How long have you been playing this guy? 24 years I've been playing Beast Boy. 24 years? Mm -hmm. So that one is older than me and Mike. Yeah. How old are you? Maybe uh, 40, 50? Ask my guru. He really wants to bite me. Look ask at him. him. Ask him how old I am. How old are you, dog? We, we're, we are the eternal ones. We don't believe in age. We're nowists. I'm as old as Mother Earth. Do you believe in evolution and the Big Bang? No, I don't believe in anything. Because that's just some stupid bullshit made up by those idiot scientists. Yeah, Assholes. I don't believe in anything. No, nothing? No. You don't believe happening now is real? No, I only believe that there is reality. I don't believe in believing. I just believe in the now. Oh, just believe, just, uh, w just living life as it comes to you right now. That's right. It does, uh, and the dog you said earlier, I believe, he's living like that right now? Yeah, he's God in pure presence. Because you're saying that God is everything, so he is part God? That's right, he, but he's the most, he's the highest form of God. So I can say that uh, by some standard that God wants to really bite me. Well, God is love and God is the fiercest and sweetest thing in the universe. Um, okay, well, can you, are you allowed to do the Beast Boy? 
here or you're only allowed to do that one on set? Yo! That's how you get. That's how that one sounds? <laughs> yeah. Yo, mama. Waffles. That's all you get today. He likes uh, waffles in the show. Yeah, it's one of his big songs. Do you guys still um, still film this one or? Mm -hmm, every week. Every week. Mm -hmm. Is the same animated show this whole time, or they switched it up, or is now it's movies, or what is it? We do movies, different versions of the show. Right now it's Teen Titans Go. How many seasons that one has been going on for? Oh my gosh, we're we're, we're like past four hundred episodes right wow. now. Mm -hmm. So how much did they pay you a good amount per episode? Yeah, it's a blessing. Do you share publicly that information? No, no, but it, his dog food is very expensive, so it covers that and my food. So they, that's all I can ask for. They're paying you maybe like, what, 10000 an episode? <laughs> that would be a good amount. That, that, that sounds nice. Oh, less than that one? I can't tell you. Oh, it's NDA? This is super personal. Oh, but, but always asking this question to guests because then I will have an accurate description of how much less money I am making than them. Because I'm bringing in very little money right now. How much do you make? No more than $4,000 a year. Yeah, you need to get a different business plan going. B bad business. I used to make more money before social media because before then I would just scam people and manipulate. But now I have to be honest or somebody will come after me with an exposed video. So having to be nice and all that doesn't work out well for business. Yeah, I think you're on the right track. I think you're a genius, and I think you're going to make a bunch of money. You're going to make millions and 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 millions a ton. So it's... Eight million. Or more, 80 million. Wow. Or even, you could be a billionaire, Matan. Billionaire? Yeah, why not? Do you believe this about everybody or just me? No, no, not about anybody. That's why That's why I came in today, because I thought this kid is a genius, and I wanted to be a part of your... Your story. Mike also? No. No, Mike, you're just riding his coattails, but you, you seem like a good guy. Mike, you're a piece of shit, Mike. <laughs> Let me tell you, the second this uh, podcast <laughs> can even bring in $100 an episode, piss to you, Mike, he will be removed. Probably that will uh, end in a lawsuit as well, <laughs> like usual. <laughs> Poor Mike. But f but most uh, guests will try to comfort Mike. At least you are being honest with them. Yeah, I mean, you can ask me anything. I'll be honest with you. Um, let me think of a question for Mike then. How dumb is Mike? I think Mike has all the intelligence, intelligence of the universe in him, but he just needs to access it by... But some people are better at accessing it than others. It depends on how busy your mind is. How busy is your mind, Mike? Very busy. Yeah, so he's, he's not accessing it too much. Yeah, he, he doesn't use a brain. So, because some people think that humans only use, I don't know, 2% of the brain. Mike's not even using a half of 2%. Meditation. We should Let's do a little meditation together. Would you guys meditate with me? Okay. Oh, that dog. Yeah, hands at your heart center. Come on, Mike. Rub them together like Mr. Miyagi. Warm it up. Warm up your electromagnetic frequency. Feel the heat. Mike, more, 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 more. Hands at your heart center. Inhale. Release it. <coughs> Let's do three breaths. Inhale. <sighs> On the third one, we're going to ohm together, okay? What is that one? We're going to ohm. Have you never ohm before? No, I don't do, I haven't done meditation since I had a really bad experience at nine years old with that one. Do you know what the word ohm means? No, uh, no clue. Mike, do you know what the word ohm means? Oh. oh, just making noise. It's actually the sound of the universe. Did you know Saturn has a, a, a sound? The planets have sounds. And NASA sent recording devices out into space to record the planets. What do you think Saturn sounds like? Um, Kabooey. Close. Uh, that one close? Yeah. You, Lucky you, guess, Mike. I was going to say, uh, shame about, on you. Similar. What, what about Jupiter? Jupiter? Boom! Close. Wow. What about Mars? Um. Ah! Sounds Mars like sounds that like, one. What do you think Earth sounds like? Mm, probably like the, the one you're just doing. Um, no, Earth. 
Earth sounds like birds and dolphins. How cool is that? Why dolphin and not uh, a dog? Like that one. <laughs> the other one is a dog. I don't know. That's what, th that's what they recorded. But the combination of all... Oh, this, this isn't uh, just made up. This is for real, you're saying? This is for real. And the combination of all the sounds in the universe, including all the people farting, all the birds, the laughing, the crying, the music, the everything, makes up... Oh. Feels good to do it. Oh. I'm just scared of meditation because it's a really bad experience. That one left a big problem with me for a little while, that's why. I hope you get past that. Meditation can help you get past it. Because what happened... <laughs> Who is that? Who did you see? I'm trying to ignore them. Uh, it's okay. The memory's coming back. Process it, brother. I was meditating at nine years old. I was in a classroom, and the, and I was meditating. And because the teacher man, he said, "You guys will all meditate for five minutes before class, right?" Mm -hmm. So I'm meditating. He said, "What comes to your mind?" And he asked each student to tell them what comes to the mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm meditating, and I start seeing immigrants and homeless people, and people with no visas, expired visas, and I'm starting to go crazy. And I started getting really nervous. And then they had to take me to the hospital. I was in a hospital for a couple of weeks. That's pretty extreme, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can try meditation again and you'll be all right. But I'm just scared that that same horrid memories will come back to just me. Just try, try oming. Oming is, is a good way to clear your mind of all that nonsense. Mike. What if he does a meditation, this guy? That'd be cool if he joined us. Do you want to join? Hey. Oh. You want to join that one? Oh. You want to join that one? Be disrespectful to the guest. You ask your question and answer the question. Oh. He's Shame on you. He's deep in meditation. This guy's a, he's a chill master. He's a lazy bum. He's not meditating. He's drinking a sugar slurpee. That's why. He looks like he's in. He looks he, like he's in meditation. Actually, he's been in the meditation for a long time now. Yeah. Are you afraid that AI or that dog speeding again? <laughs> oh. Are you afraid that AI is gonna take your job? Oh, man, I think um, AI is going to take everybody's job. So everybody would become homeless? Um, hopefully not, but I think uh, like pretty soon there'll be like a virtual Matan, and that virtual Matan is going to do your job for you, and you get to just chill and collect checks. Oh, he will just make me money? Yeah. That would be good because... Yeah, so there's, there's, there's good, good stuff about AI for sure. But but what if somebody... Just don't get a brain chip, ever. Why not? Never. They will steal your brain? They'll control your brain, right, Mike? Mike has nothing to offer them. No, Mike knows about the, the Neuralink garbage. Don't ever, don't ever get a Neuralink. That's what the Elon Musk wants to put in your brain? Yeah, he does. Don't ever allow that. So do you like Elon Musk? I don't trust him. Do you think he's trying to take control of people? Yeah, he is. He's a salesman. The government puts them in the position to be a salesman for all the stuff they want to shove down your throat. So he's part of the government secretly? Yeah, all the money he's made comes from our tax dollars. All the subsidies, like Tesla's funded by our tax dollars. All Neuralink's funded by our tax dollars. Um, Starlink is funded by our tax dollars. It's all our money that made him rich. He works for the government, so be sure. cautious of him. But I do like that he let um, a little bit more free speech on X. That's cool, though. Oh, you like that one? I like more free speech, yeah. Well, I really appreciate you coming on, actually, but we have to end it here because Longneck is going to be here. We have to shoot an episode with Longneck in about five minutes. That's cool. I don't know who Longneck is. Oh, he's an awesome guy. He has a long neck. 
and a, b a b big, <laughs> no, small brain. <laughs> He's an interesting guy. We have to shoot with him. Sounds cool. Do you want to say hi to him if he's coming here? Yeah, yeah, I want to meet Long Neck. Okay, well, we will, we're, we're going to do a little joke on him. We're going to have him come to the gate to let him in where you park the car. But we are going to lock the gate so he can't leave for the next 12 hours. And we're going to video him outside with no food or water. Oh, dang. Long Neck's going to be pissed. He's going to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. All right, let's get the cameras on him so we can bring him in soon. Shame on you. The dog wants to get after, me. after you, Matan. I'm just trying not to get in outside with my dog. Oh, shit. Enter up. 